The September 30th COVID vaccine deadline is something Denver City and County employees have known about for weeks. August 2nd, I believe, is when the mandate was first rolled out. Bob McDonald, executive director for the Denver Department of Public Health and Environment, says since that date, employees should have either downloaded their vaccine documentation or been approved for a medical or faith-based exemption by now. So if they haven't done one of those things, they'd be considered out of compliance with the mandate. Uh, that would actually occur on October 1st. Our goal is to gain compliance and to gain compliance as quickly as we can. City Attorney Kristen Bronson says right now more than 94% of employees are compliant, but their current concern is the remainder and the consequences that will follow if they don't meet the mandate. That includes any city employee, including first responders and teachers. What we have announced to employees is a two-step progressive discipline process where the first offense will be a 10 day suspension unpaid and the second offense if they remain non-compliant would be moving forward with termination. Health officials say it's time to take things a step further. For nearly 20 months, McDonald says they have implemented things ranging from mask orders to testing regimens and we're still at high case rates. The only thing that really gets us out of the pandemic uh, is to get more people vaccinated. Testing and, and face coverings, those can slow down transmission, but when it's all said and done, an unvaccinated person who removes their face covering is still unvaccinated. So when it comes to employees that are either on military leave or FMLA, City Attorney Bronson says they do not have to meet that September 30th deadline, which is today, but they do have to comply before they return to the workforce. Natasha. All right, Eddie, big questions there. Thank you.